Hello friends, this video on nutrition in plants part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we are going to talk about the autotrophic nutrition in plants. So how do plants prepare their own food? So most of the plants have autotrophic nutrition. So they prepare their own food by photosynthesis. Now most of the plants which are autotrophic are photosynthetic, most of them. Now what we have to understand here is what is this photosynthesis. It is a name given to the process by which plants prepare their own food. So let us see what happens in photosynthesis. So let us just try to break this word photo. Photo means light. Synthesis to synthesize something that means to prepare something. So preparing food in presence of sunlight and it also needs water with some other raw materials but sunlight has to be present and this process of preparing food is called photosynthesis. So let us now see what is photosynthesis. So it is the process by which green plants prepare their own food in presence of sunlight. So that's why sunlight is very significant here and the other most significant thing is green plants. So for photosynthesis to happen uh, why do we only talk about green plants? Is it that if the plants are green only then they can carry out photosynthesis? Yes, that is correct to some extent. That's because these green plants, they have a specific pigment called chlorophyll. And due to the presence of this pigment, these plants get their green color. And these pigment chlorophyll, they perform one of the most important roles in the process of photosynthesis. So chlorophyll is very crucial for photosynthesis and therefore green plants perform photosynthesis. So where exactly this process of food preparation take place in a plant because a plant has different parts like roots, stem, leaves, flowers, fruits. So where exactly this process takes place? It takes place in leaves of plant and that is why leaves of the plants are also called the kitchen of the plants. Why are they called kitchen? Because this is the place where uh, the food is prepared. Now why in the leaves? Because the color of the leaves are green. Why green? Because they contain the pigment chlorophyll. So if you look at the structure of a leaf, this is how the leaf looks like. So you have the, these kind of structures in the middle of the leaf called the midrib and the veins. Now if you ob try to observe more closely the structure of a leaf, so this is how it will look like from inside. So basically the thickness of the leaf, this much thick it is, which is very less, it, it seems very thin. But when you look at it very closely, you can see so many structures just within this much thickness. So here you can see the presence of chloroplast and chloroplast are the cells which contain chlorophyll. So chlorophyll is actually present inside this chloroplasts. So due to the presence of chlorophyll in the leaves, leaves perform photosynthesis and then the food which gets prepared as a result of photosynthesis that gets transported to different parts of the plants. Now what are the things that are required for photosynthesis to take place? The raw materials needed for photosynthesis. For example, when you prepare food in the kitchen, you need some raw materials. For example, you want to prepare uh, say egg curry. So to prepare egg curry, what are the raw materials that you need? Maybe eggs, uh, then spices, uh, oil. So these are the things which you need some container or utensil where you can prepare food. So those are the raw materials needed for preparing egg curry. Similarly, for plants to perform photosynthesis, they also need certain raw materials. So what are they? So the basic requirements for photosynthesis, the first thing is chlorophyll because chlorophyll is very important. It actually helps in absorbing the sunlight and then it helps in the process of preparing food. Sunlight. Without sunlight it cannot happen. So that is why the name itself has photo which means light. Water. Again, without water nothing can happen. If you stop watering your plants, the plants eventually die. That's because when there is no water being made available to the plant, the plant is actually not getting a raw material for photosynthesis. So photosynthesis is not happening properly and therefore after some time, the plants start to starve and it dies. 
carbon dioxide so it, it is another important input for photosynthesis and that is why plants take in carbon dioxide so you would have heard people saying that you should grow a lot of plants in your vicinity that's because human beings take in oxygen during breathing and they give out carbon dioxide and that carbon dioxide is taken up by the plants so let us see what exactly happens during the process of photosynthesis so we see that these are the four things which are needed for photosynthesis to take place so what exactly happened during the process so during this process the carbon dioxide and water so carbon dioxide and water they combine together in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll and what is formed and they form carbohydrates so you where did we hear about carbohydrates before this while we were talking about the nutrients and a lot of energy is also released during the process and along with this oxygen is also released so basically if you write it down like a chemical reaction it will be co2 plus h2o in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll it forms carbohydrates so the simplest carbohydrate is glucose which is c6h12o6 so glucose is a carbohydrate plus oxygen plus a lot of energy so this is the reaction that takes place during photosynthesis so this carbohydrate which is formed is nothing but food for the plants now the question that might arise in your mind is now and also from this equation you get to know that plants take in carbon dioxide and they give out oxygen the question is this food which is being prepared that is the carbohydrate or the glucose where is it stored in a plant because if they are produced in the leaves so where do they store it and how the other parts of the plant receive it so the food is food which is prepared is stored in the form of starch now the food is prepared in the form of glucose so glucose is a carbohydrate so it is a simple carbohydrate but this glucose is stored so during photosynthesis as i said oxygen is released correct so the glucose which is obtained during photosynthesis that gets converted into a polysaccharide that is again a carbohydrate called starch so basically starch can is like a, a polymer it contains multiple units of monosaccharides so each of this unit is a simple sugar so multiple units of mil, mil, simple sugar together form a starch so now this starch is stored in the leaves now presence of starch in the leaves prove that photosynthesis had taken place and this starch it remains just stored and whenever energy is needed by the plant the starch is used up as and when needed so this is the form in which the food is stored in plant so the food is prepared in the form of glucose but then the glucose gets converted into starch and the starch is stored in the leaves Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.